So um, many of you will know Urban Splash from its traditional roots 25 years ago in urban regeneration. Um, but, and this is what people always said about all our projects, including Park Hill and many of them, it will never work. And we're trying to take on um, the UK house building industry and disrupting that through modular housing, but also a different approach to quality, which is what this slide is about. We all know the sort of standard stuff, you know, poor space standards, fairly ordinary design, it's efficient, um, they're very cellular layouts. It's a sort of one size fits all uh, uh, approach with very little choice, um, both sort of at an urban level and for a, for a customer. And of course, there's uh, a traditional construction methodology. Apologies, it's a bit scary at that scale. But um, <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, we, we, hopefully we'll move on in a moment. Uh, <laughs> blissful 20 seconds. But I mean, basically, it's, it's a serious point about safety and efficiency and quality as well. So when we set up House, which is our new house building part of Urban Splash, we had this clear vision to create a real distinctive alternative to the volume builders, but that ha was producing modern um, and distinctive homes. With those f f themes there, bigger, more flexible, more sustainable, modern, and importantly, factory built. But actually, we started with the quality agenda, and we, we were deciding about selling space rather than rooms initially. So I'll talk you through, for those of you who are familiar with house, townhouse, um, how uh, we offer customer choice um, when, you, when you buy your house. So basically, first of all, you get to choose whether you want a, a two-story or three-story, so 1,000 or 1,500 square feet, broadly speaking, and then whether you want your living space on the ground floor, so garden living, or in the loft space, the top floor, overlooking views and uh, the surrounding neighborhoods. So those are your first two choices. And then you have a, a, um, an, a range of choices about how to cellularize all your spaces, both living and sleeping. So you can have basically big open plan, or you can have quite heavily cellularized layouts. And you build your own house in terms of the, the design of it, the choice of it. Um, and we've got various tools that assist that, including these literally these sort of doll's houses where you pick the, the floor layout off the, off the wall and build it. And we have an online configurator as well. Um, and you can go and play with that and, and have fun on our website, House by Urban Splash, um, and see what's available. Um, from that customer choice agenda came a, a decision that we actually, in order to deliver that choice, we had to build it in a factory. And that was almost an accident, really, which I'd love to say was by design. But now there's such a huge growth um, of interest in this area. Um, and, um, and it's a happy sort of um, outcome, really. But you saw that some of the ways that um, we build an assembly line and then um, deliver it volumetrically to site and then assemble it. But this is what you get. So it doesn't look like a prefab. This is you know, a finished scheme in Smith's dock in North Shield. And it was deliber deliberately about quality, airy, big windows, contemporary finishes. It's also, importantly, and this addresses Neil's point, how do you make it sufficiently varied while repeated? How do you create forms that have streetscape interest, that, that form streets and frontages and, and give rhythm? Um, and how, how can you design them in a way that they can be configured in lots of different sort of urban layouts. So this is a crescent form at North Shields and terraces. We are designing semi-detached versions and even detached versions now for um, different projects that I'll come on to in a moment. Um, and, and I think uh, also important to um, develop variety as well as standardization. And a key thing there is elevational treatments. So all the images you're seeing here are our, our earlier recent um, uh, completed projects like this one in Salford. But we are now um, heavily investing R&D in how to change the elevational treatments as well so that you've got different materiality responding to different urban contexts. Also, we're developing a family of typologies. So it's not just the townhouses on the left there, but low-rise or mid-rise mansion house typologies, the row house, which is a smaller format than the townhouse, um, and then guest additions by other designers as well. And there's a, there's a growing family. But it's also addressing the uh, Academy of Urbanism uh, audience here about the wider place. Of course it is. And how you put these together with gardens and public realm. This is Port Loop in Birmingham, which is actually on site. That, I was in that park 
yesterday and it is looking fab. So this is an um, emerging picture. And finally, just finish off with two projects in the corridor that we're working on. This is Campbell Park North, literally just out there, um, which we're working with Milton Keynes Development Partnership and Cress Nicholson, who uh, we're sharing the site. And it's about a new kind of urbanism in the king uh, or queen of suburban living, Milton Keynes. Um, but it was a pioneer city, and it is all about re-injecting that. And then this is a project um, in Cambridge. It's Homes England site, strategic uh, new town, 10,000 homes, and this is phase 2A of it, which is 400 homes, all by uh, all modern methods of construction and all by Urban Splash. And finally, just to finish on this, um, some of you will be aware that we earlier in the week announced um, a major new partnership with Sekisui House and Homes England, um, which is about partnering both ca cash and knowledge with Japan's largest house builder. They produce 45,000 factory built homes a year. All of them are bespoke, believe it or not. It's super efficient. They employ two and a half thousand qualified architects. They have master planners. They're just decades ahead of us. And uh, this di uh, that, that little thing was about the fact that we actually signed the deal on the same day as the new emperor acceded. So Rewa, beautiful harmony. So it was a rather nice moment. And then we always finish with this because, again, addressing this audience, I don't need to tell you, but it is not just about the houses. It's not just about the building scale. It's about how, what impact you have on the city and the places that you're leaving behind. <laughs>